welcome to APM master classes today in this session we are going to see how we can automate a toast messages right so let's let me take an example see here this is a toast message right invalid credentials this you cannot identify using UI automator right and you need to automate this using a uh, some different way because APM is not able to automate this right so let's take an example so I already have a dump and snapshot let me open this let's see suppose for example this right you are able to identify this box you are able to identify this box but when you come to this right it is not recognizable by UI automator right why what is the reason behind it? because this particular toast message is a system generated message this is not generated by our app this is generated by the system okay and those system capabilities or system messages you cannot automate using API right so now what is the alternative way to automate this right so what we are going to do is we are going to automate this feature something like this let me open a notepad okay first step capture snapshot when message display okay the second thing is using external jars we are converting those converting this image to text OCR okay the third thing is what we are going to do is once you got the text right from the image say text right I can say here snapshot text right and using this text I am only validate using say suppose contains contains right so what I'm going to say is this is my complete text for example in image there are a lot of text right out of that I'm going to validate whether in that particular complete text whether it is showing invalid right if it will show invalid that means it the text which we are going to expect right it is present under that so you can say validated right so now we are going to try to achieve this how we can do that right so let's take an example we are going to use a app right uh, let me connect my mobile just a second so now you can able to see the mobile device right so now what you can do here is let me show you the app which I'm going to automate it right so this is our how's it fine 
Okay, when you open this and go for login, right? And here I'm going to provide some details and say let me log in. Right. Here it will give you a message invalid credentials. Right. Now this is a scenario which I'm going to automate you and show you how we can validate that toast message. Right. Fine. So now for that what you need to do is I already created here a one uh, project. Right. Just a minute. Okay, here I already created a one project. Okay, and let me show you what all libraries you need it. Okay, here you need a commons. This is a Apache library. J image converter, right? Image is going to convert using this, right? This is a, these are the APM libraries, right? JNA, JNA platform, LEPT 4J, right? Logback. Selenium standalone and Tesla 4G, right? This is a main jar file which is going to use it, right? Apart from that, what you need to do is you need to copy some DLL files to your system 32, okay? For that, you can just search it in a Google, you will get the details for that, okay? Great. So here I'm going to demonstrate you two different ways how you can automate that. One is taking an image. Once you capture the image and store it and out of that image you will convert the text and then you validate it, right? And if suppose you don't want to capture and save the image in some file and you just want to verify the data using runtime, right? Both are the at runtime only, but you don't want to save the image, right? You don't want to waste your uh, hard disk space, right? Suppose, for example, you execute 10 times. Every time it will capture one image and save it somewhere, right? And out of that, it will try to convert, right? So if you don't want that, then directly when image is processing, the streams are there, image streams are there. Using that image stream, you can validate the text and it will automatically delete right using a buffer only you can validate it right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the code i already written the code toast verification right so let's see here this is my code where i'm going to launch the app right and if you see here i'm going to provide the details right i am providing the details here as ipm master and the wrong pass right and here i am going to validate it right so first we will see how to validate using a image okay so using a image means first it will create an image and save it in your under snapshot folder here okay with a random name okay in after that it will convert the text and it will validate it, right so what i am going to do is i am saying here assert dot asset falls text dot contains right I, I will come to that how i got the text right we'll come to that right suppose take an example in this text you got all the text present in the snapshot it already converted it and come to this text right i'm saying dot contains invalid credentials so if it is not contains invalid credentials that means your test case is passed and you are you have been logged in successfully okay so there are multiple ways you can validate it so i am doing on that way, right so what it will do if invalid credential is displayed in this text or present in this text my validation will going to fail right okay so let me try to first run the script 
and then we will discuss the code with respect to OCR, right? Oh, great. So let me start the server first, APM server. Let's wait for five seconds. Okay, my server has uh, started the APM server. Okay, my server has been started, right? Now let me run the script. Okay, data is coming to APM server. Let's wait for five few seconds. We'll launch the app. Let's see what is happening. Okay, app got launched, right, it will click on login, right, it will provide the email address and password. Let's go back to the Capture the image. Okay, see here one failure, right? Let's see. Invalid credential expected false but found true. Okay, now see the text. So this is a text which it got from the image. Okay. Let me show you the image as well. Just a second. See, this is an image which has been stored. Okay. So, let me refresh it. See, this is a one which has been stored, right? So, let me go to properties, capture this. Go to run and open this. See, this is an image which was captured, right? Here it is showing invalid credentials, right? And if you see APM master and there are forgot password, there are some text present, right? So let's see. See here, forgot password, connect with Facebook, APM at the rate gmail.com, let me in all the text which has been present in that image it has been tried to extract that right so now in this text invalid credential is present that is reason my test case has been failed right why because i am expecting it should be false but it is present right it is true right so now Using this test case, what was happening is in every time when you run the script, it will take the image and store it under the snapshots, right? Suppose you have a five or six or maybe hundred of toast messages, right? So all the hundred snapshot will be captured and saved under your hard disk memory, right? And those images are not 
useful for you right you are going to just validate it and anyways you can store that particular text which is extracting from the image right that you can store it somewhere if you want it but i think that is also not required right all these things will go be going to be happen in a runtime right so now what we are going to do here is okay now let's see the second example right so let's take in the next example where we don't need to even store the image right in the buffer itself it will validate it and it will not store the image into your hard disk okay so let me rerun the script Okay, so now see here, see again test has been failed, right? And if you see here, it got printed. Okay, and if you see above that, there is no snapshot at all. Let me refresh this. See one, two, three, four. Four images was there, right? So no, no image has been captured. What it was doing is in the buffer itself, it is validating your text, and buffer will be lost once the execution has been done, right? Those details are or image is not required for us, right? We just need to validate our toast message, right? So this is a way you can validate your toast messages. I know these. This is a lengthy process, but this is a present workaround which you can automate your toast messages, right? So in the next class, we'll see how we have configured all the things like jars. What are what is the exact class which we have using it, right? And what other things or prerequisites to execute OCR, right? So we'll see all these things in the next class. Okay. Thanks for watching.